We eliminated bifold closet doors and replaced them with these bypass sliding doors. Very simple to do with simple tools needed. Let's start with the opening. My opening here is 58 and 3 quarter inches wide and 81 inches high. This set we purchased will cover an opening of 60 inches wide by 81 inches high but can be adjusted to 58 inches to 61 inches wide and the height 80 and a half inches to 81 and a half inches. So this set should be no problem fitting our opening but we'll need to cut the top and bottom tracks to fit the 58 and 3 quarter inches wide opening we have. Before we go further we verify that all the hardware is supplied with the doors. As you see the back side of those doors are not finished. It consists of only one panel finished on the outside of a metal frame. Making them very light and easy to install. So after verifying all the parts and physically measuring the door height. We then measured the track and marked the cut line. Doing the same for the bottom track. This track will be carrying all the weight of the doors and has a wood 1x2 that will make the track more sturdy, not make it bend when stepping on it I guess. Now it's time to cut the top and bottom channel to the dimension we measured. You can use a miter box and a hacksaw or if you have a small grinder with a metal cutting blade and you are comfortable with it, go for it. But make sure you're comfortable with it. The cut has to be straight and cut one end only. Now the instructions suggest to install the top track even with the front of the closet opening. I chose the middle. I just think it looks better. They also suggest to pre-drill the holes to the walls. But we were comfortable just driving the screws directly into the wall knowing there's a 2x4 framing behind this drywall. Now we line up the bottom track same as the top and make sure not to forget the wood support underneath it. The instructions suggest to nail the wood strip to the wooden floor like we have and then screw the track to it. I chose to screw it to our wooden floor all at the same time. Just my opinion. If you have a different floor there's instructions for them like carpet, concrete or tile. Next we need to make sure the rollers on the bottom of the sliding door are at least a quarter inch past the bottom frame of the door. So they will go into the bottom track and not scratch the paint on the track. Do this to both doors. And don't forget to clip in the two plastic guides on each door on the top corners to keep the doors lined up in the top track. They are a little challenging to clip in, but be patient and they will clip eventually. To finally install the doors, pick up the first door with the finished side facing you and tilt the top of the door towards the inside of the closet and insert it into the inside track first. Next set the bottom of the door panel with the rollers into the inside runner of the track. For the other door do the same but use the outside tracks for top and bottom. Only thing left is to adjust any space to the top and bottom of the doors when in a closed position. You want them to be flush with the wall. If you see space at the top or bottom edges of the door panel, simply turn the adjusting screw on top of the wheel assembly on back of the door panel nearest the wall. Turn the screw left or right until the door panel lines flush with the wall. 
and repeat for each door panel. To avoid damage to the wall, they provided these two little rubber bumpers you could put on the door frame so when you close the door, there's a smooth bump there. Just peel and stick to the door frame to wherever you think the center is. And that's about it. You have not completed the installation. I hope this helps to explain an installation of a sliding closet door. And keep in mind, there's many different type out there and some have hanging rollers instead of bottom rollers for those who prefer not to have to drill or glue floor tracks pick carefully before you buy and you all have a great day